Um, Hi, uh, are we are we starting this? Yeah, we're, we're starting. We, we, we're we're done with okay. the, we're done with the gossip. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. So we're starting with losers round two, top eight. Um, we've got Pit Norm versus Simba. When is Simba get vibe? The heck? That's an interesting choice. Not as interesting as watching an Edelus Edgeguard Zetaburn, though. It's just so entertaining. The only thing I don't like is just hearing Edelus roar constantly. It, it kinda... Oh. Okay, I... You know, Edelus is one of those characters I think will happily trade stocks with you. So I never know if it's worth it. Like, I feel like no, you that need was to have... definitely worth it to Edelus because he was at sixty and Simba was at zero. No, yeah, I don't think it was worth it to Simba. Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. I mean, I'd say it's worth it mainly because it's just like an online weekly. If it was like a a local like big tournament, I'd say that was definitely not worth it. I guess also, like, since it's game one, it kind of sends that message like, yeah, I just zeroed it at you. Pit no arm, throw out the hammer with no ice. Ooh, going for the backflip, like, going above the hammer. Oh now, my god, he just got... There's one thing y'all should know about Pit no arm, is that he loves the Dacus. He loves he doing... Those easy, cheesy... Dacus kills. He also likes the down B. Smart choice to do the down smash. At first I didn't think it was going to kill, I thought it was mainly going to go for forward smash, but... Good option. This is a safer move to get the kill with. Yeah. I still don't like how consistent a forward smash and up strong can be, like... Ooh, Even down cheese. smash too sometimes, if you get right in the middle. Oh my god, I hate that hitbox so much. It's kind of like a Falco down smash from Melee. Yeah. Or just like sends him upwards. Oh, getting Simba off. getting a quick 35 though. But letting him get back on the stage is kind of a, one of the things that I could see it being his downfall if he doesn't adapt to that. I kind of feel bad for Simba because I can tell he's working so much harder than Pit No Arm is. <laughs> and then Pit No Arm is dacusing. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> he had the read, but the up smash failed him. He's gonna do a down B again, yep. But Simba's ready with these techs. Ooh! Cool. That was okay. That oh might have been God. the coolest thing I've ever seen Pit Norm ever do in his career. That is my, my second man, favorite. Confirm. Right next to up tilt, up strong. He straight up went from recovering, does a immaculate wave land out of his up special into a Dacus kill confirm. Beautiful, just I gotta get past Pit No Arm. I didn't think he had that in him. I was very oh. that was very precise and I was impressed. You've impressed me, Pit No Arm. Yeah. It looked beautiful. I forgot to mention that uh, actually back when I was running locals down here in South Florida, uh, Simba actually entered my brackets a few times. Probably like three or four times. And uh, at one point, K Money and Pit Norm actually traveled all the way down from Tallahassee. And funny enough, Pit Norm and Simba actually played each other in Grands. Because Simba knocked me out of the bracket and had to play Pit Norm in Grands. And uh, Pit Norm ended up winning that locally. So let's see how he does uh, online. So just, uh, just something I remembered. A little history between the two players. I really drove all the way down just for that. Yeah. I would too, actually. I'm ready yeah. to do it once the starts and you start running stuff again. Yeah. Same with Tampa. I love the backstory you provide, Renzo. You gotta set up the stage for this important loser's top eight match. I love the, it. The lore, the, the history. Speaking of lore and history. For me personally, I have a lot of history on this stage, so I'm a fan of whoever counterpicks this stage. I think in your combo video, like, like 67% of it was like, on this stage. Yeah, it's the most- Oh, that's exactly why all the blast zones are so close! It's such a volatile stage! So explosive! The adrenaline so on the stage. Why. Oh, Oh, he keeps it going. I thought he could have gone something a bit more, but kind of just misspaced his aerials. Oh, I heard Sim the roll kind of. 
Simba opting not to do Shine Up Smash on that platform, instead just did a Down Smash Edge Guard situation. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for like the down base spike to try and get him the norm, but ooh, charging yeah. that. That, that nice. was very smart. A lot of some people may not know is that with Zetterburn's property, if he does a fire empowered smash attack, your opponent can't tech the ledge. So like that up smash will scoop below the ledge and your opponent can't tech because this the flame absorption kinda just sucks him into the, the smash attack. Oh, that's actually interesting. I didn't I actually didn't know that. Yeah, it's like, that's why a lot of situations, a lot of Zetterburns will do, like, down smash edge guards because it kind of, like, scoops underneath and they can't tech the wall. This is about to be a three stock, so after I complimented Pit No Arm, Simba's just kind of saying, hey, Pit No Arm, you're kind of booty. But Pit No Arm with an immaculate read on the tech roll in. Went to the opposite side and just said, all right, let's... Uh, Simba, come really? on, where's the Shine Up Smash? Do, do no Zetterburns in Florida Shine Up Smash except for me and Renzo? Come yeah, on, man. Yeah, like, you're not even, like, the mains, like... I haven't seen one... I didn't see one from Pity. I haven't seen one from Simba. At 130, that was a prime Shine Up Smash opportunity. But and he Edelis. closes out anyway. What are the odds, what are, the odds are gonna miss it on Edelus, you know? That is true. Edelus is a very wide bear. He's not hes not a little teddy bear that you cuddle up as a stuffed animal. He's got some meat on him. Meat. And... I know some Edelus is like this stage, but... I wouldn't counterpick Zetterburn here, because let me tell you... If you know a Zetterburn... Or if you play against a Zetterburn that just spams good Zetterburn neutral, they'll just plat drop aerial... Through that platform, day. and it's just a field day for Zetterburn. Especially that up there. So good through plat drops. Yeah, I learned the hard way from Pity. I was like, no, this is no longer the move. Yeah, Pit Norm. Bring things back though with these up, up throw nares. The iconic always getting two of them. Down smash. Barely takes it. Probably didn't drift in on time. Like, it looked like he had the correct DR, but just the drift was not good. Honestly, Simba's out. is just out schmoovin' Pit Norm right now. And it's very hard to out schmoove an Edelus. Especially with the ice out there? Nah, it's nothing fun. Nothing fun to deal with. And, oh, great parry bait by Pit No Arm, showing the experience right there, using the down smash cover and all the tech options. Very intelligent for Mr. Cole Clay. Five? Aw, no fives. Gets the armor. I haven't seen too much armor come out from Pit No Arm. Gets more. Oh! Cool. Simba thought he had another jump, but it still makes it back anyways. Shine up smash? Nope. No. Just went for normal up smash. And that fire actually, like, Pit Norm yeah, was just wore out. Simba throwing out these grabs, catches Edelus with the up air off the top. That was a nice call out right there, catching him trying to recover high. Pit Norm throwing out the down B, and that barely kills. We're at an even game. Last stock. The giant fist. Oh, Atlas's jab, like his jab combo, is by far the best in the game. It covers so much space. I think it's either it's between Atlas or or Kane. Or well, Kane's is only good because like it's untackable, but Atlas for edge guarding and like that third hit of jab just co it covers so much space. It's a big hitbox. It's actually not okay. Oh, oh my god. I like that. I'm a fan of that. Pit no arm. Just dash dashing in the right below him, waiting for the parry and just. So the, the no ice on the ground dash dance, like the minuscule dash dances into up smash. I'm liking how Pit no arm has ended games one and three. I'm a fan. I was hating on you game two, Pit no arm, but you won me back again. Let's see you if you don't not. lose me for game four. Yeah, that's what I was thinking right now. I was like, man, you better not. Don't disappoint. Like, you've already real listened really nicely. Going to the Armada. 
Great out of the stage. Good Zetterburn stage 2, though. It's all going to depend on if Simba can get quick, quick strong kills off the top. Oh it's no. Not looking, like, not looking like Pit and Arms letting him. Ooh, the nice aggression to get him off. Ooh, Simba tried going deep. Couldn't quite get it, though. Oh, that was an up smash right there. Up tilt and up smash is true on a lot of characters for Zetterburn. But instead, he gets reversed and Pit Noir takes the lead. Good roll back by Pit Noir. Edge guard situation. Oh! oh my god. And there was nothing he, Simba would have done about it even if he lived because he was, uh, was going to get pineappled. Yeah, he tried to tech roll in to get the tech off the wall, but that's a danger if you try to do that. If you don't get to the wall in time, you'll just go right underneath that stage and you're basically done for. Pitnor, I'm doing well. Like, he he mixed it up. He mixed up the parry timing by holding fair and then getting a punish off of it. Yeah. I mean, at, at times with, like, Zetterburn being off stage, it can be a rough matchup, but... At the same time, Simba's combo game just hasn't been the best, where he can be taking advantage of Edelus' weight. Pidnorm gets more armor. Well, frame two, kill move ignore, combo move ignore. And you already know what you already know what Pidnorm is fishing for. Ooh, I did not I see like that, that force. Actually. Yeah, I didn't see that forward smash coming. Oh, does. Didn't want to go for the up smash. He's just playing with his food at this point. Yep. Oh he my god. Going he going for, for down B. I, I think, it, I don't know if it upsets me more that he went for the down B again. Or that you saw the little walk from Simba, like, walking into it, not doing anything else, and just getting sat on. Like, because the thing with Edelus is, up, like, down B like that is, as Zetterburn and other characters like Maypool and stuff, you can up tilt it. You can up tilt it before it hits you. Yeah, it's just... Pit no arm has the skills to pay the bills! And Simba doesn't. It's as simple as that. Alright,